If you're not a W2 worker and have business like me, then we have to pay the estimated taxes through the year. And now with 2024 tax season coming, I wanna share with you who has to pay these taxes, when to pay these taxes, and approximately how much payments you should send. Now just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional accountant and I'm just simply sharing my experience. So this video is not a tax advice or financial advice and you should always consult professional accountant for your specific tax situation. Now why do we have to make these estimated tax payments in the first place? And the answer for this is actually relatively simple. If somebody receives salary paychecks every week or every second week from the company, then as you know these taxes are deducted from the check. So before you even get your money, the IRS already takes their chunk whether it's the federal government or if you live in a state like me i live in new york for example we also have to pay the new york state tax but there are some states that don't actually charge the state tax now pretty much for everybody else any person that doesn't receive the w-2 form whether you just self employ and claim it as solopreneur or have llc business even some corporations and it doesn't really matter if your business is online like i do youtube for example and i'm a part of amazon associates program or you have any other regular business like laundromat, haircut shop, grocery store and etc. Then because the government doesn't collect these taxes, we have to make four estimated payments through the year. And no worries, you're not gonna pay actually four times amount of taxes. It's just that you will spread total amount of taxes you think you're gonna owe pretty much into four payments. Now before I give you some example, here is the actual dates for the payments this year. Yes, I'm talking about 2024 estimated payments. So for the revenue between January and March, you will have to make the estimated tax payment first time by April 15. Then for the April and May revenue, you will pay it by June 17. And yes, you're right, this is only two months gap between these payments, but you're also only paying for the two months income. Then for June, July and August, this estimated tax payment date is September 16. And finally, for the last four months of the year, meaning September, October, November and December, this payment has to be sent between January 15 of 2025. So these are the estimated tax payments dates for 2024. But now let me give you some example. Let's say you're assuming your business will make $50,000 this year. And yes, I'm talking about after all the expenses, all the deductions, business purchases and etc. I'm talking about the clean money that is going to be left for you. So to make it simple, let's say your federal tax rate is 20%, meaning from the 50,000 revenue, you would be $10,000. So then you would spread this $10,000 dollars between these four payments now you don't have to make equal payments of course because let's say for example the first three months of the year you made more income then you might send some bigger tax payment but then your revenue slows down through the year so then you will adjust the payments accordingly of course for the clean revenue you made in this two three or four months respectively now obviously and i cannot stress this enough you should always try to estimate these payments correctly because if you underpay the taxes especially by a lot you will have to pay interest charges penalty and at least last year this penalty was equal to federal short-term interest rates plus five and a half percent but not less than seven and a half percent so you definitely don't want to pay that on top of your taxes because that wouldn't be a good situation now you can pay slightly less in estimated tax payments than you're supposed to but to avoid the penalty you still have to pay minimum of 90% of the tax you're supposed to. That's for the current year. So try to make it as close as possible. And obviously if you overpay it, then you will get the refund at the end of the year. Or you can choose to put this refund to actually next year's estimated tax payments, which might be a good option. Now here is the most important thing with taxes. No matter if you send enough payments for the taxes or you think you're gonna owe IRS a bunch of money for the taxes, still make sure to file the tax return. And I believe the due date is April 15 because there is huge difference between not paying the tax or not paying enough or actually not filing the taxes so with underpayment of taxes this can give you financial penalty but not filing the taxes can actually put you in legal trouble and yes I mean if you're not lucky you can even be locked up for it so you want to avoid it at all costs and always file the taxes okay so I hope you find the info in this video valuable and make sure to check this video there is some good info in it too thank you for watching Thank you.